Good evening. Today is Good Friday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four, four shares, a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top down. So they said to one another, let's not tear it, but cast lots for it to see where, whose it will be, in order that the passage of scripture might be fulfilled that says, they divided my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. This is what the soldiers did. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loves, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, Aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it, in, put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Please kneel. You are the redeemer of the world. For us and for our salvation, you came down from heaven. You were born as a son in a humble major. You were raised as a child. You taught us as a prophet. Now you have died as our rede redeemer. Look upon us, we pray, and grant us your salvation. Fill the hungry with your food, and most importantly, the bread of the cross. Fill the thirsty with the drinks you have provided, and most importantly, the wine that is your blood. Clothe the naked with clothes, and most importantly, the salvation won by you on this day. Send all your blessings upon the poor, and most importantly, your eternal life. Make the outcasts feel welcome and call them to your kingdom. Heal the sick, especially those suffering from the coronavirus. And most importantly, heal their sins. Set all prisoners free who are in prison unjustly, and make all prisoners feel not abandoned. Set them free from the prison of hell. Send down your blessings upon all people. Make us a light in this world of darkness. Help us to carry the cross with you always. We give you thanks, O Lord, for everything you have given us. In particular, we give you thanks for those who put their lives on the line with this coronavirus pandemic. Please keep them safe and guide them. We also give you thanks in particular for the death that you suffered on this day. Please, through your death, save us from sin. Help us to live on in the glory of the resurrection. Break down our hearts of stone and give us a heart for love alone. Where there is hunger, let us be bread. Where there is thirst, let us be wine. Where there is not clothing, let us be blessing. Outcasts, make us a friend. Where there is sickness, make us your healing. Where there is prisoners, make us visitors. Where there is death, make us hope. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. My life I put into your hands. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, O Lord, have mercy on us on us, and on the whole world. We, a we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Founder's Prayer. O God, we thank you for the life of blessed Edmund Rice, who by your Spirit he opened his heart to Christ present and those oppressed by poverty, ignorance, and injustice. He afforded them the opportunity for Christian education and engaged on their behalf in other works of compassion. May we follow his example of faith and generosity in our lives. Grant us the courage and compassion of Edmund as we seek to live lives of love and service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's all we have for today, but until tomorrow, live Jesus in our hearts forever.